CRI basically has one of the largest adaptive programs. We have over 250 adaptive athletes coming through the boathouse every year and basically age ranges from 12 to 83. CRI has a huge program that also has like boatmen that work to create different adaptations for athletes like different chairs to sit in for fixed seat athletes. They were talking about possibly making a different type of oar handle because I have problems like holding the oar handle with my thumbs are kind of funny so I've never thought of more adaptive ways to approach things. It's like really cool for me to see like even on such a small scale like that. I just think that it's really um, great that there's that much attention and care um, that CRI puts into every single um, para-athlete that comes through. It's just such a tight-knit community and you can kind of sense that right when you get there and just the people that you meet are so incredible, the things that they've accomplished and uh, that's what I think is the most just incredible about just being at CRI and being able to experience that. Yeah, we just switched to 2K so that was like a really big deal for the para rowing. Previously it's been only 1,000 meters and, and I think that uh, a really big reason why we came down here is because we want to get um, more experience racing 2K. And it now gives us an opportunity to be at any point during the racing schedule because we don't have to pull in a new star platform or anything like that. So we get a lot more fans, a lot more people around to see us race. If you're limited to 1K, you know, people don't get that you can do more and I think that this is just a step to to really pushing the limits of para-athletes. But then also, it's more of a different type of training. It's just kind of saying like, look, we have this equality, like, and we can train just as hard as anyone else, like, and do it all. So it's pretty exciting, and I'm excited because I get to cox a 2K now. I just feel like it should have been like this a long time ago, so I can understand how some people think that it'd be, it might be better um, for, you know, para-athletes to only row 1K, but it's kind of like, hey, like, we've shown enough that we were able to row, like, all of us are in the college programs that row 2K in the springtime, and so I just don't, I, like, I don't understand why that would have to be switched for the World Championships, and so I think it's about time that we've switched to a 2K, and I appreciate that a lot. I think there's a big stigma um, when you say power or adaptive that, you know, either we can't do the same things as non-power athletes or that we have amputations and missing yeah. limbs or we're paraplegic, and I think by increasing our distance to 2,000 meters, it's actually going to show not only, you know, rowers in America, but also all over the world that, you know, we can do just as much as those who aren't power or need adaptations. The community as a whole here in the last oh, seven or eight years that I've been involved on the adaptive side, that we are building momentum in a really positive way. And I just hope everybody can keep on continuing pushing that ball up the hill. Eventually, we'll get over the top. Just to have him here, being an official, like sitting on a launch, driving behind us, it just means that, like, it's kind of one of those things where you feel really supported and you feel like everyone's with you, whether they're para or not. Um, and so, having him around just absolutely helps us feel more included and spreads the word, not just that we're rowers and we're rowing in like a boat, but we can also do everything else. We're just steps away from finally fielding a completely serious and strong adaptive, at the international level, adaptive program. We're, we're just steps away. And it's really, really great to see us uh, back up there at that high level again. We've been doing promotional stuff on like just the general community level to show everyone that pretty much anyone can row. No matter what your body type, no matter how old you are, or gender, anything, anyone can grow.